I was always disappointed with how Bobby Lashley's first run with WWE went. I felt like there was a lot more potential there. There was a lot more that could be done. And it ultimately didn't happen. But he struck out on his own, went down a different path, got into MMA, got to TNA, and really made himself into, I feel like, a main event player for any wrestling company. He became a guy that you could count on. He became a guy that the other wrestlers could take seriously, the administration could take seriously of your wrestling company, and perhaps most importantly of all, the fans could take seriously. He had credibility. He was believable. He brings a big fight feel similar to Brock Lesnar. He's like a smaller black version of Brock Lesnar. Battletoad Bobby Lashley, that's what he is. So when I started hearing the buzz that he was going to come back to WWE here in 2018, I was excited because I'm like, holy hell, with the history that this company has, with their lack of black world champions, it would feel like, feel like almost a shoe in that a guy that they were incredibly high on, specifically Vince at one point in time, comes back all these years later and they're really going to roll out the red carpet for him and they're going to try and make him a star. And they won't have as much hesitation with trusting him and putting a world strap on him. And that could be the direction they still plan to go. And that could be where this all ends up. And if that is, then I'm absolutely fine with that. But I have to say, the early returns to me on Bobby Lashley in WWE in 2018 aren't that good. They're confusing and they kind of suck. Like I understand the first night he comes back, the big deal is the fact that he returns and he faces off against somebody and that's cool and that's great. But it feels really odd to me that he's just kind of floating out there and he's kind of just being presented like he's another dude. You know, a jag, just another guy. And I assure you, Bobby Lashley is not just another guy. And to me, after all these years, almost a decade away, I'm not bringing Bobby Lashley in to be a jag, just another guy. I'm bringing him in because I want him to fill a potential void that could very well be left when Lesnar leaves very soon but he would be able to fill it on a little bit more of a full-time permanent basis, which is exactly what the company needs. But they need somebody like him that can bring a big fight feeling, bring some MMA-type uh, credibility to the organization. There are a lot of, again, positive things that Lashley brings with him. And it feels like the WWE is just spinning their wheels and they have no clue what the hell to do. And you've seen this recently with legends like the Dudley boys, like all those years, the Dudley boys are gone. You bring them back and you really don't do shit with them. It was just so incredibly frustrating to watch and see how it unfolded. And then you get the big moment last year at WrestleMania after all the buzz and all the rumors and innuendo. The freaking Hardys are back at WWE. What a great moment. They win the tag team championships. And then the company doesn't really do anything with them. They start jobbing them out because they don't know what the hell they're doing in general and not knowing what the hell they're going to do with these guys specifically. Like, it shouldn't be that hard. The Dudleys, the Hardys, you should be able to figure out a way to utilize them in some type of way that is effective. But the company didn't. So here's Lashley, and I'm not comparing him in legend status to the Dudleys and the Hardys, because he's obviously not there, but he's still a player. He's still a dude. And you're giving him kind of, to me, the same type of treatment. Like, this should be a guy that people are really happy to see back in WWE. This should be a guy that at least initially the crowd dictates to you that he is a big baby face, but you keep presenting him in ways that don't really matter. You keep presenting him in ways 
and just make him feel like just another guy where he's just having randomly thrown together matches on Raw, you're not really helping him and you're not really helping yourself and you're kind of defeating the purpose for even bringing him in. And then I look at what happened on Raw this Monday. You want Lashley to be in a big spot? Cool. You should. You want Lashley to be a big deal? Cool. Do you really feel like the way to go about that is in Canada? The home country of all three guys, Jinder Mahal, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Technically the home country of all three of them. Do you really feel like it is a good idea to send Bobby Lashley out there trying to get him over as a face by helping out Roman Reigns? Like it's one thing if it's Rollins or it's Ambrose because you've got years of shield stuff to lean back on. You've got that. That it can at least work. Those are the only two guys it can freaking work for. Anybody else comes out to freaking help Roman Reigns, they're getting booed and they're getting booed massively. So we thought it was a good idea to throw Bobby Lashley out into the mix. At least Braun Strowman comes soon after and you could feel the Canadian crowd was kind of torn, which gives you an indication that Strowman is over in a decent way. He's coming out there to attack the three Canadians, and they don't seem to mind that much, even though a couple of minutes ago they were kind of cheering for Sami Zayn, and they were even more in Kevin Owens' corner. They popped massively for Braun Strowman. But the first guy you're going to send out there is freaking Bobby Lashley. Why not send out Strowman first and then send out Lashley? And now... You're having him wrestle at Backlash in kind of a last-minute thrown-together tag match. Him and Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I don't know if you're biding your time to get to maybe Money in the Bank. Maybe having him win the briefcase. Or getting to Money in the Bank and maybe he's facing Brock Lesnar. Maybe he's winning the strap from Brock Lesnar. And if that is the plan, then so be it. But it just feels like right now that this company is spinning their wheels with Bobby Lashley. And I don't get how they could be. I don't understand how they could potentially screw this up. Although knowing that hashtag WWE ruins everything always applies. But I'm just really damn confused what they're doing. So could any of you enlighten me as to what they're planning or what they're thinking right now? Or are you every bit as confused as I am?